I'm so glad you're here. My name is Marley, and today I'm going to be bringing Badum to you with one of my favorite activities, One Foot Wonder. Today I'll be exploring the museum to try to find objects that equal exactly one foot in length. You can also do this activity at home with a piece of pre-cut string and a ruler. So we have a ruler and we have some string, but I wonder if this string is exactly one foot. Well, let's test it on the ruler and find out. It looks like it's 12 inches, which is exactly one foot. So, can I use this string to find some one foot wonders around the museum? If it's 12 inches or one foot, I can. Let's go explore and see what we can find. Now that we have our objects collected, let's start measuring. We'll start with the stick from Building Challenge. Let's see if it's a one foot wonder. You know, it looks a little too tall to be a one foot wonder. Let's put that over here for now. All right, Mr. Crab, are you one foot? Let's see. Hmm, it looks like Mr. Crab's just a little too short. We'll also put him over here. Now, let's try this P from Wobble Land. The great thing about having a piece of string as a measurement tool is that you can wrap it around objects, like this round P. But it still looks like it's a little too, too long. Not a one foot wonder yet. Choo choo train, are you one foot? Let's test this train from Bay Hall. It still looks like it's too short to be a one foot wonder. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. I've got these other trains. Let's see if we can combine them and make a one foot wonder that way. Look at that. It's exactly one foot. See what you can do with one piece of string and a little creativity? Another thing you can do once you're done measuring your objects is see if you can create a story with them. I wonder if Mr. Crab would like riding one of these trains, or maybe maybe even hanging out with one of the peas from Wobble Land. And you can also do this activity where you live. We can't wait to see what you do. Happy trying and see you next time. Bye.